Hello YouTubers and Android users. I just wanted to make a quick clip here to show how to use this program Droid Client Droid Droid Cam, sorry. My apologies, Droid Cam. Um, what it allows you to do is to use your Android phone as a webcam, either by Wi-Fi or by USB. Um, my preferred method is by USB and the problem that I encountered that I think a lot of people probably will, probably will encounter is that first of all you must install the Droid Cam app on your phone. Secondly you must enable USB debugging on your phone so you have to enable developer options if you don't know how to do that you might have to um, search for that it's fairly easy to do you just go to about and then tap your build number like seven times in a row developer options pops up you turn it on you just go in there and you enable USB debugging then after USB debugging is enabled you must connect your phone to your PC via your webcam uh, via, via connect your Android phone to your, P, to your PC via the USB cable and to do that most PCs these days especially Windows 10 they'll just deal with it no problem and um, but if you have problems on XP or something like that, you may have to install drivers. But anyway, when, uh, after you've connected your Android phone to your PC via the USB cable and your Android Cam app on your phone, then what, what you also have to do is download the Droid Cam client on your PC. Now the problem is that when the Droid Cam client runs first on your PC, it runs in Wi-Fi mode, and when you click over to USB mode, there's no zeros in this device IP section. Now for it to work in USB mode, it must have 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 in the the device IP section. So what you have to do is before you start up via USB you, you go to the Wi-Fi section and you type in 0.0.0.0 .0. then you can click over to USB mode and those zeros will be in that device IP field even though it's grayed out it'll be there. Then when you click start and I'll give a warning I'm not a handsome man and the uh, webcam is on so when you click start then your webcam should fire up and start to work what you can do is you, you can use the you can record audio through your phone as well but I'm using a microphone at the moment and when the droid cam is running you've got if you've got droid cam pro you've got all these options like zoom turn on the light on your camera autofocus etc etc some other options there by the looks of it now the advantage of using an uh, android phone as a webcam is that it has a fairly high resolution camera it also has a light, has face recognition, and all that kind of stuff. Whether you can use that with Droid Cam, I don't know. But the main purpose of this video was to was to demonstrate how to get Droid Cam client to communicate with your Android phone via the USB cable with USB debugging enabled 
must be enabled. How, how to get that to work and uh, it's very frustrating if you simply install it, connect your phone by USB then click on the USB and then click start nothing happens because this field is blank and so just simply by typing that in there in the, in the Wi-Fi section then click the USB section see that it's there and grayed out and then click start and then the cam will work it's quite simple but I frustrated the living daylights out of me so anyway that's how it's done thanks for watching